location from outer space crash landed and two friendly martians and their dog were stuck on a little planet now they've got special powers and it makes some people wonder but only Sorry, Okie Dokie, I can't play now. I'm working on something to repair our spaceship. <laughs> All right, desist. <laughs> Uncle Martin, the... I know I left the lab door open. Yeah, but if... Since I knew you decided to visit me, I opened the door for you. Oh, you read my mind. Hmm. I was just afraid that Brennan or his nosy son Brad would discover your lab, and, well, <laughs> that could panic the entire world, you know. Right, Tim. That's exactly why I'm working on this control unit. Well, it's just a solid piece of round metal. Tim, on Mars we have a saying that goes, you cannot tell a zingle dingle by its cover. What is a zingle dingle? It's what you earthlings call a book. Why don't you call it a book? Why don't you call it a zingle dingle? Oh, testing, testing. What are you doing? I'm testing the control unit. Open the closet door. Come to me and stop. Uncle Martin, what, what is it? It's a robot that I've assembled to help me repair our damaged spaceship so we can return to Mars. Yeah, but how can the robot help you? I'm programming it with all the knowledge I've accumulated in my short 3,000 years of life. Once it knows as much as I, we can work on the spaceship and cut our time in half. Uh, how do you transfer your knowledge to the robot? Observe. <laughs> Open your mouth. What was that stuff? On Mars, it's known as flugel dip. Down here, you refer to it as protein. Enjoy it. Open your nerve center. Now I shall transfer more of my experience into his memory bank. Certainly clears one's sinuses. Answer the phone, Tim. What? I wish you'd explain to me how mental telepathy works. I will, if you'd explain to me how your freeways work. Hello? Yes, it is. Oh, is that all? Ah, thank you. Uh, that was the Museum of Metallurgy. Ah, yes. I asked them to check a point of information for me. Oh, they said to tell you the Marani mountaintop in Tibet. Excellent. I leave at once. What's so important about Tibet, Uncle Martin? It's the only spot on your planet where the metal zyconisonite is indigenous. Well, why are you interested in zyconisonite? Zyconisonite is chemically a cousin to the Martian metal Grigatortin, which is our sensitizer for all our spaceship guidance systems. And you're gonna go to Tibet to get some of it? Precisely. I'll teleport myself to Tibet and should be back in time for dinner tonight with you and Andy and Katie. Goodbye, Tim. Uh... It's nosy, Mr. Brennan, I'm afraid. <laughs> Return to the closet, close the door, and rest. Uh, have a nice trip. Uh. Uncle Martin, that's not funny. I agree, but that wasn't planned. What do you mean? I should have been halfway to Tibet by now. Something seems amiss. 
Your antenna. There's only one. Tim, I believe I know why I'm not capable of teleporting right now. It's the robot. He's stopping you? Mm, no, not deliberately. I've transferred so much of myself to his nerve center, I've temporarily diminished some of my own powers. But they'll return after the robot has been inactive for a few hours. Mm -hmm. But how will you get to Tibet? Mm, I suppose I'll have to fly one of those slow 600 mile an hour turtles you people call jet lighters. <laughs> Wasn't that Uncle Martin and Tim? Uh-huh. I wonder where they're going. Maybe Uncle Martin left the note in the lab telling us where they're going. I don't see any note, Andy. Hey, Katie, look. What is it? It's a control unit. Uncle Martin must have just made it. What does it control? Let's find out. Come out, come out, whatever you are. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's only a robot. What does it do? Depends whose brains programmed it. Spin around, then stop. Give it an order. Can it cook? If Uncle Martin built it, it could probably open its own restaurant. Your order, madame? Separate the whites from four eggs and beat till fluffy. <laughs> Don't you think there's something weird about a toy that does everything you ask it to do? <laughs> if I can get that toy and show it to my dad, I bet he'd take it to the police, right? <laughs> Thanks for the lift, Tim. And be sure to caution Andy and Katie not to touch the robot or let anyone get near it. I will, Uncle Martin. <laughs> Here's my credit card. Thank you, but I won't need it. I intend to hold on to the tail of the plane. Hey, Andy, do you think the robot can do homework? Sure, but it's better to do that yourself. I have to stretch out. Oh, me too. That piece of junk can do homework. <laughs> Chump, get in there and grab that little disc they talk into. Hi. Oh, wait till you see what we have. A robot. He cooks. And he... You had no permission to fool around with that robot. Gee, we didn't mean to. Andy, your uncle's powers have already been diminished because of the robot's activities. Now it's going to take longer than ever to restore them. Oh, we didn't know. Uncle Martin had to hitch a ride to Tibet, and now... But what's he doing in Tibet? Well, never mind that right now. Where's the robot? Uh, he's resting in the kitchen. I am really surprised at you two for not exercising willpower. Well, now, where is he? Gee, he was sitting right there. Well, there's no problem bringing him back. Andy, call him on the control desk and... I thought you left it right there. So did I. Don't tell me the control unit has gone, too. The robot and the control unit are gone. If the authorities get hold of that robot, Andy, they're bound to learn that you and Uncle Martin are from outer space. That could panic the whole planet down here. Uh, it's all my fault. Mine, too. Marani Mountain Top, here I come. Strange. My powers should have been fully recharged by now. I have a feeling my robot isn't resting the way he should. Oh boy, here comes a car. Wait till a car gets up to us, then zoom away. They're sure making goofy looking foreign cars today. I bet I could rent that robot to the circus for a hundred dollars for just one hour. Who could have kidnapped that robot? I think my son has run away from home again there. 
I'm sorry to hear that, Mr. Brennan. Uh, what makes you think he's run away? The kitchen floor is clean. When Brad comes home from school, he always makes himself a snack, and he leaves the entire floor like a big stein ass. Well, if we should see him, we'll, uh, we'll tell him you're worried about him. <laughs> Thanks. He's a rotten kid, but he's still my rotten kid. <laughs> Brad! I'll never make it. Sahib wish to ride to top of Marani Mountain instead of walking. Sahib certainly does. <laughs> If it is wisdom you seek, my son, then seek elsewhere, for I, the Maharusha Ravi Kishka, no longer know what I know. But Maharusha Ravi Kishka, your problem is that you know what you know, but you doubt what you know, for you know no longer know what you know is indeed what you know. I know, I know, but how you know all this? I am an admirer of your ways, and I sense that you have seen a vision that casts doubt upon your own credibility. That is so. Only this day did I think I saw a man holding onto the tail of an aeroplane. Since no man can hold onto the tail of an aeroplane that flies through the skies, then I did not see what I saw. You see? But you did see what you saw, for I was that very man. That's true. You are that man. Now I know that what I know is what I know. What is it that you wish to know? I wish to know where I can find the metal that you call Zykonisonite. I would like to pay you, Maharusha Ravishka, uh, but I am without funds at the moment. Ah, uh, it is written, a high lama does not live by philosophy alone. Uh, will you then accept uh, an article of clothing? Sure. <laughs> Are these drip dry? Oh, yes. Then here is your can I, can I, can I, can I, here's your stuff. Thank you. Uh, can you direct me to the nearest telephone, please? Ah, uh, be sure you call collect. Hello? Yes, we accept the call. Andy, I sense something terribly wrong. I'm unable to teleport myself, and, I, and I'm getting weaker. Oh, it's my fault, Uncle Martin. The robot is missing. Oh, dear. Dear drat, mush and marshmallows, that could be disastrous for the world. We think Brad has kidnapped him, but we have no idea where he is. There's no time to lose. Andy, get a hold of Okie Dokie's tail at once. Okay, Uncle Martin. Now what? Tell Okie to concentrate all his powers into his tail, and you then concentrate on sending your powers and his through the telephone. What will that do? By draining all your powers, I might be able to charge my battery enough for one last teleport back to home. Here goes. <laughs> You're back. Oh, barely. Andy and Oki and I are drained of all of our Martian powers. You mean you'll never get them back? Only if we can locate the robot and transplant my energies back to myself. That's just what we're going to do, Uncle Martin. Unless Brad turns the robot over to the authorities before we find him. Hey, mister! <laughs> Nobody allowed in till 7 o'clock. So get that chimp back in his cage and take that oversized toy to the junk heap. Ah, uh, the chimp is my pet, and that toy is the greatest circus performer in the world. Stick a thermometer in your mouth, kid. You're sick. Juggle two of those elephants. I'll give you 200 a night. 300. Right. <laughs> it's no use. It's no use. Not only can't I read anybody else's mind, I can't read my own. I 
found Brad. He just founded me. Well, so long there. <laughs> Today? My birthday? <laughs> no, Mr. Brennan. We're just so happy for you that you've located your dear missing son. Where is he? Where is he? He's at the circus there. He, uh, he, uh, he said he got something very important to show me. Uh, he's even treating me. Try some of that delicious fried chicken, Mr. Brennan. Uh, maybe after I, uh, get back from the circus, I'll, uh, <laughs> uh um. Well, uh, maybe I'll just have a little taste before I go. Mm. Ooh, this is very... It's vital that we locate Brad immediately. What do you want us to do when we find him? Grab the control disc and bring it to me at once. I'll, um, I'll wait next to the lion's cages. Ah, uh, he goes on right after the lion act. Okay, slave, get up and smile. I've looked all over, Uncle Martin. Oh, I'll, I'll never forgive myself for... Look! <laughs> Run away and hide. <laughs> the control disc. <laughs> Robot, old thing. Return to the circus. Open your nerve center. Andy, hold on to Oki's tail and my left hand. I don't blame you, Katie. I'd like to see the circus, too. Hey, you can read minds again. Well, then you're going to see the circus, and what's more, you and all those other people in there are going to see none other than a Roboto the Magnificent. Yeah, but, but, Uncle Martin, if the robot performs before all these people, aren't you in danger of being discovered? Yes, Jim. But now that I've regained my powers, it will be a simple matter to hypnotize everybody into forgetting what they've seen. Go in there and give them a performance they'll never remember. <laughs> Gentlemen, sleep. None of you will ever recall the actions of the last performer, but you will leave here feeling very happy tonight. Awake! What's the big idea? Ah, uh, uh, listen, Dad, I can prove that Andy and his Uncle Martin are weird. Oh, yeah? Oh. They made this big toy that climbs trees and cooks and juggles elephants, and you, you gotta tell the police. Ah, uh, excuse me, father. 
Uh, did you see a big toy in that circus there that juggles elephants and cooks and climbs trees there? No. <laughs> How many times have I told you? Only lie to strangers. Home, please. Dad, that was him driving that car. Him who? That big toy. I told you not to lie, you liar, you... <laughs>